Russia has launched its first spacecraft to the surface of the moon in nearly half a century. The so-called Luna 25 mission is seeking to put a robotic lander on the south pole of the moon. The unmanned spacecraft blasted off from a spaceport in eastern Russia around 8 a.m. local time Friday. It's expected to land on the surface of the moon as early as August 21st. Russia is racing against India, which launched its own spacecraft to the lunar south pole last month. Joining us now is CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, talk to us about why this spacecraft is headed to the south pole region of the moon. Why is everybody so excited to get there? What's to be found? Well, it's really interesting. You know, back in the 90s, a very small U.S. satellite that was orbiting the moon detected the chemical traces of water. And you think, okay, well, how could there be water on the moon? Well, it turns out if you go to the poles of the moon, there are craters there that never see sunlight. In other words, the sun is never high enough at the poles to where it reaches inside the crater. So you have these permanently shadowed, ultra-cold areas of the moon. And the thinking is that ice has collected there over the billions of years since uh, the solar system started forming. So why do you look for ice? Well, if you can find ice and you have electricity, you can take that apart. You know, just like a high school electrolysis experiment, you can break it down into hydrogen, oxygen. You can make water. You can breathe it. You can even use it as rocket fuel. So you can live off the land if it's there and if you can get it out. Huh, okay, that explains sort of this race. This launch comes almost a month after India launched its own mission to the moon's south pole. However, both spacecraft are expected to land around the same time. Why is that, Bill, and which one is currently expected to land first? Well, Luna 25, the Russian probe, is supposed to land around August 21st. The Chandrayaan-1 Indian spacecraft is, is supposed to land on the 23rd. Uh, but really, it's going to come down to what orbit they both end up in. You know, are the engineers happy that everything's working right? So those dates could change. But the reason they're getting there at roughly the same time um, it's, it's, just, it's just a matter, it's a coincidence, really. I mean, they've been planning these missions for years. Uh, this, is, uh, this is just when they happen to get going. Well, other countries, including the U.S. and China, have been advancing their own lunar exploration programs. Talk to us about why these efforts are happening now. Why the renewed interest in the moon? Well, you know, it's partly scientific and it's partly geopolitical. In the case of the Russians, they're trying to reestablish themselves as a major space power. I mean, that is a badge of being a superpower, is to have a, a, a space program that can send these missions to other worlds. You know, China, the U.S., and Russia are the only countries that have ever landed anything on the moon. So Russia's trying to get back to that level of expertise. It's a feather in Vladimir Putin's hat if they can pull this off and keep their program going. Now, on the U.S. side... They've been looking for something to do after the International Space Station is ah, retired, I should say, in, 20, in 2030. And their plan is the Artemis Moon Program. They want to send astronauts back to the moon, establish a permanent presence there as sort of a stepping stone to Mars. But this whole search for ice has really inspired lots of countries and private industry uh, to send probes to the moon. And it's really heating up. It's, it's, it's kind of a new space race. It's just not motivated by the Cold War that ended up with Apollo astronauts on the moon. So interesting, too, how private industry has yes. really been a um, rocket fuel, if you will, <laughs> uh, in, in all of this uh, space exploration. Yeah, yeah. So, so much commercial interest in what could be out there. Uh, Bill Harwood could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for sharing your insight with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure.